a quick note on the portal opening. Uh, I never... I always say that I only have two teachers at this point and mainly only one who I who I listen to and the main one of all is me because what happens is I am aware and I tune into myself and then essentially what I use the teacher for is and it is a channeled message and once a month they give a webcast and I usually do tune in and it gives details on a different wavelength than what I picked up but always the same message the same essence so I mainly would say I use it as a sort of feeling of connection and feeling like not being completely alone I would say and not even at this point that I need it now it's kind of just like having a cigarette once in a while sort of feeling or a glass of wine sort of feeling it's just that like oh yeah this is kind of nice so I I didn't I did not want to use the word confirmation because I've learned to just trust myself I really don't need confirmation but I will say those webcasts taught me to really trust in myself because because they're time sensitive and because they're based in a certain space and time when you're following along like when you're listening to yourself and noticing what's coming up for you and inspirations you're having and knowings that are arising and themes and then the next month when you hear them you know, the, within the next few weeks or couple weeks or a week after, you're hearing them discuss it and kind of give you a planetary overview of the universal energies. It's just cool to see it play out in the way that you already were feeling into. So I never like to use anyone else's teachings I only like to speak from my personal experience and that said there is information and it's not even just from the teachers from the crimson circle that I that I listen that I tune into there are now more and more and more groups picking up on this but there is a sort of portal opening there's a sort of come here bear there's this I'm just doing this and then we're gonna go OUT um there's a sort of portal opening the date that's been given in my group is March 22nd 2022 and other teachers have said beginning of April and March 23rd and that it's but that's the that's the timeline and I don't really concern myself with that stuff for the most part too much because like I said I just go off my instinct like I'm very I'm a puritan really when it comes to making sure that I'm not getting my information outside of myself and I'm only using it to, like I said, kind of just maybe give a little more detail to things that I was already surmising myself. And my point in saying this is that I didn't need to be told that there was something coming up that was going to be quickening the energy because because I'm in tune I was making changes and adjustments to myself in alignment with all of this way before I had any idea that it was going on. 
but around the time where it became obvious on a universal level that it was going to happen. And so we're coming up on that date in about a month now. And I want to say roughly, for me, it was like September when I really started feeling the shift of just almost like everything in my life had the... Kind of like if you're imagining like a tower or a castle that kids would build with wooden blocks. And if you imagine like gravity open, like freeze up for a moment. And so the tower is still in place, but everything, there's spaces. So it's almost like you could do Jenga, like without any of the blocks touching each other. There's just space around every block, so it's open and expanded, and you can easily move this or that, and everything's kind of like a free-for-all. Like, just... That's a little bit how my life... It was kind of like gravity lifted, and not in a positive way or negative, but just, like, all bets being off, sort of. Like, almost like the un- the the energies I had become accustomed to utilizing in my life were sort of not as valid anymore and that was an adjustment and I would say although it's more intense now and I do feel it's more intense now also just from like my lack of connection to nature in these in in these months of winter currently in New York that compounds it for sure but there's a greater intensity but I have I would say adjusted more and I've been I've just realized the necessity of making the changes that are required of me and really putting my old outdated patterns and beliefs aside like the change at this point is actually much easier than trying to hold on and I'm and it's it's very easy for me to see the benefit and the value of letting go of these things so it's not a hard sell in other words it's very it's relatively easy for me to let these things go at this point it's actually like I want to let everything go that's not of this new energy and of this higher frequency that I'm predominantly inhabiting at this time and I would say the main point of of this is to say I actually felt today is one of the best days that I felt (laughs) in a really long time which is really funny because it was cloudy it was sort it was warm don't get me wrong it's been warm for the month but it wasn't warm enough to really spend time outside although we're, we're about to go out when I finish this I was charging my phone up before we left so figured I'd jump on here because I I did feel like there was some more a little bit more I wanted to say and in a different vein than what I had recorded earlier today now that I'm further in the day the thing that's just I'm in this zone and this is very personal but I know that if this is happening for me then it is happening for other people too I'm just in this zone of where meditating and and not in some formal full lotus type of way, but just like feeling that connection to my soul, feeling that conscious connection to my soul, feeling the light in my body and my cells, like that the breathing breathing deeply breathing consciously it's like it feels like the lifeline it's like i feel this very strong 
transition happening right now and it's comforting in the sense that I'm very clear on what I need to do and it's kind of like hold on it'll be over in a little while but while it's taking place you really have to hunker down and focus and when you come out it's going to be so much better but so much also so much different and like everything that you're letting go right now is not coming back because of how quickly all things are shifting like the minute it's almost like you're blasting off through space and if you were in a rocket ship and you could like you know throw something out of a rocket window it's not like when you're riding down the road on a bike or walking or in a car and you can kind of stop and pause and pick it up it's like the stuff that you drop right now is just like left behind at the speed of light because of how quickly you're moving forward and it's that's all a very good thing because where you're going is like the culmination as much as culmination doesn't really fully exist but for lack of a better term it's kind of like the culmination of things that you started working on like 10 years ago is now energetically becoming available to you so all the stuff that you've been kind of like messing around with in the 3d but that wasn't really true to your passion and your heart all that stuff is being required to be released like it's like imagining trying to like tape some conf tape some uh like a string of tin cans or you know tape some streamers to a rocket ship or tape you know tape anything like tape any type of object or attach it to a rocket ship with anything and just think of how quickly that stuff's gonna just be sucked the hell right off as you you know maybe even burn I don't know I don't know but it's like that's that feeling of everything that's not completely aligned with your absolute highest truth is just getting like is getting sucked away and your only option is to release it do that quick release you know parachute cord like press the button or pull the string whatever and just like let it fucking fly loose and no guilt no regret no looking back don't slow your roll don't slow your momentum don't doubt yourself at all if it if you'll know And you just do the quick release and and move on. And because that's like where the energy is going. And the, the, the better that you are at doing that, the more painless this all will be. The quicker that you rip the band aids, or not even, you don't even have to rip them. All you have to do is show up authentically and speak your truth, even if it's just to yourself and know it. And it will all be stripped away. Whatever is not exactly right, whatever is not exactly right will be stripped away. And there's not an effort on your part. It's simply an allowing because we do still have free will. It's like we're operating under, it's almost like different systems. It's like there's a system of like universal energy and then there's like personal energy and then there's free will in the human form. So but there's no real energy or effort, I should say, requirement. It's just an allowing of your free will to say, yeah, I'm going to let this stuff be, be pulled from me because I'm ready for going into the new and going into the new is almost like being reborn, almost like a baby in a way. Like you're coming out naked on the other side. You're kind of starting naked, but with all of the crystallized truths and wisdom and clarity and light body energy that you've gained so it's like all of the it's like a condensation of all of the gifts from all of the lifetimes brought into this form and like that's the only thing that's going through the portal and so my whole point of making this recording is just was just to do a quick thing and I'll probably file this under something different 
I'll probably file it under uh, Portal, Spring, Spring equinox or whatever the fuck it is you know portal opening and just the energies because it's it's everything I'm doing right now is about that but this is like the most specific to that end that I'm that I've done and uh it has not been an easy ride the last like six months to a ye to like nine six to nine months but it's been really rewarding and a lot of also the highest times of my life and so many breakthroughs and ultimately I'm very satisfied with the standard that I've set for myself energetically. I'm moving forward just where I am in relation to all of that. I'm very satisfied. It was like a a six to nine month period of intensity, but it needed to occur and I'm so beyond words appreciative and grateful that it did because it was like an immense time of change and shift and things that had never happened before in my life all happening, all happening and moving this along, moving me along in the process. It was like waves of labor sort of and contractions or whatever you want to say and so it was now I feel like I'm reaching the pinnacle of all of it and the vertex sort of feeling and it's a really good feeling and it's not quite one of that of that full sigh of relief but it is it's I was just went off in my mind thinking like childbirth is so hard so that it tricks women into thinking that they love their baby <laughs> I I know I have the I have the I have the worst uh filter for things that people want to hear. I was I was half joking. But it's like I was thinking how if birth was like so easy, then it would be easier for women to be like what the fuck did I just do? It's like now I've got a crying like baby to take care of. But like because birth is so hard, they they're kind of like, "Oh, I'm just so relieved that the baby's here." Like fuck my own sleep bring on some bring on some postpartum depression that's better than birth no that's I I'm that's terrible I should edit all of that out uh but no I'm that's tongue-in-cheek too but no so I my brain just went off my brain like went off in that direction and I like but but no um people love their kids yeah I got I I already know it I'm not well (laughs) I already know the way I said that Oh my god. This is why my shit can never get that popular because I would just have so many comments in the bottom just of like people just people would lose their hats at the stuff that I say and that's not even me being like rowdy. But so it's not a sigh of relief yet. Well, I was also cuz I was doing that sort of metaphor for or analogy with birth and then I'm thinking like how much of a relief is it really to have now a fucking baby that you have to like deal with for the next 20 years? But um so anyway, anyway, I I am kidding ha- part partly, but so it's not it's not at the sigh of relief point yet, but it's it's a little breath of relief right now because I feel like I've released the last of the stuff that 
that really was was old patterns for me and old energies and it's really at the point now of just hunkering down and meditating and you know it's not even a visualization thing it's not a trying to manifest thing that's actually some of the stuff like I had to let go at this point it's not trying to manifest anything it's it's not having any goals it's really opening it's really being in service I fucking hate that word service to the soul it's like it's like being available to the soul making myself available to my soul and opening up and saying whatever is right you know allow that will to be done it's a state of surrender to the higher self I would say that's the closest approximation I could come to in words it's it's at this point even visualize eyes visualizing visualization is is not I there's no I have I have inspirations I have um what is that word it's like inspiration visual it's like I feel like there's a word I've been looking for all day that's that's evaded me I have suspicions of what some things might be but I'm very I'm just completely open and there's no attachment to an outcome that is something very new for me very very recently there's no attachment it really is like it's kind of like filling out one of those mash I don't know if you ever used to play MASH in school, that game. It was like mansion, apartment, shack, house. (laughs) I can't believe I still remember that. And then you like, and then you did like, which boy were you going to marry? And like, how many kids were you going to have? And like, what kind of car were you going to have? And then you did, and like all these different topics. I wish I could think of all the topics, but like, it was such a fun game. It was so... Well, it was so stupid, but that was what made it so fun. It was so fucking fun. And then you, like, do, like, a spin. You do, like, a, you do, like, a, like, a cyclone, like, a spiral on the top of the paper, and then you count how many rings. So, like, you don't know, like, what number it's going to be. You just randomly do it. And then you count how many rings, and then you start, I think, on, like, mash and go, like, one, two, three. Like, say you do eight. It's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then whatever one you land on, you cross that off. And then you keep going until every category there's only one left and that's like your fortune and there was something about that game that I just like loved I remember doing that sleepovers with my friends and so I was actually thinking about that today how it feels like mash at this point just in terms of everything because I feel my my honest and this isn't me trying to be like, this is like, like fucking Tony Robbins myself, like into, this is going to be the best year ever. Like, no, no, no. Like, not that. No offense, Tony Robbins. Like, he's, I'm sure he's a great dude. I, I just, the feeling is, the feeling for me is like, this year is, everything is shifting so much that I can't even, If I try to visualize, it's almost like it's not going to really be close because it's it's more of a feeling that if I wanted to get close, it would have to almost be from a feeling perspective. Impression, impression, that was the word I meant. It was like, yes, I have impressions of, of where things might go, but like energetic kind of holographic, you know, mists projected into my psyche at times that flash on and off but I'm not attached to any of them and it feels like everything is completely completely up in the air and open just like that just like that tower that block tower where all of a sudden gravity doesn't exist and it the tower you can visual you can see the tower still but there's space around every single block 
And that's how it feels in my life. Like everything is so, and like not with Django where like you, there's like that friction as a result of gravity when you're pushing the, when you're pushing the blocks, this is like that towers right there. And you can almost like look at a block and move it. It's like that fluid, that gaseous, that just open and easily suggestible based on which way you want it to go. And so I personally am not in the place right now of wanting to exert my personal will on any of it. I'm really just leaving it open, maintaining a really, really strong and as close to constant as I humanly can connection with my soul and just listening and making myself available to it. And you know, trusting that fully, like it kind of goes without saying, but this feels like a year for me that's just absolutely, I don't even want to say off the charts because that makes it sound like from a human perspective that I'm like, this is going to be so successful of a year, like probably, but that's not the goal. I, I, my only goal at this point is just staying aligned And climbing continually higher and higher into consciousness within myself. And anything that comes, whatever, fine, cool. But that's that's genuinely at this point the only thing that I'm fucking with is my work, my internal work. And I know that people were watching the meditations, which is really nice. And I'm sure I will feel inspired, but like sort of surprisingly lately, I've just felt inspired to like talk because I, in a way I feel like, well, you meditate, just do it on your own. But sometimes words like I, I, currently I just feel like, and I, I do stuff just based on what feels right. I could have no people liking or listening to my talks, but if that feels like the right thing to do, I'm going to fucking do it. And there could be something else where it could be like a million views that or I would know a million people are going to watch it. But if that doesn't feel right to me, then I'm not going to do it. Like I'm just not really ever going based on any of that stuff. And right now I feel like my best use of my time if I'm recording is moving these energies and putting these energies out there in a physical form for people across space and time to access if and when it's the right time for them. So I'm going to leave it off there. I'm going to drink some water and take my D-O-G-O-U-T. And yeah, done.